Throughout the history of the Super Mario franchise, we have seen countless breathtaking worlds filled with wonder. However, Nintendo aren't the only ones that can make some amazing things. Because as many of you have seen with Super Mario Maker, the community is very capable. So today we will be looking at worlds made by fans that kind of blew my mind. Number 6 Babon Battlefield is a classic world that many fans of the franchise will know about. However, nowadays there's a better, more modern version. Super Mario Galaxy 64 Babon Battlefield. A really cool way of re-experiencing this old classic from a bygone era. Now, it's different in ways for sure because it uses assets from the Galaxy games. However, in a lot of ways, it's like the original. You get to see the whole world in a close to HD format this time around. One thing is for sure, it looks a lot better than the original. Besides that, it's also filled to the brim with things more so than the older version seen on that console. Now I have to admit, a lot of things seen here aren't really from the original. But that's not important really. Because of the new look and even the new little added features here and there, it feels like a new world which also tickles your nostalgia. In my opinion, it's a good mix of new and old, seeing the overall level design of the N64 hit and the new elements from Galaxy that are added. It's an extremely good mixture. Number 5 Now for our next world, we aren't really changing games. Well, sort of. Because Sand Grits Desert is made using the assets and engine of Super Mario 64 DS. As you could have expected, this world is based on shifting sandland, however this time it's smaller and the pyramid is more maze-like. Personally, I like this smaller, more compact map a lot, also because it's more open and easier to get to the pyramid. In Shifting Sandland, you had to go through quite a trial in order to reach the Egyptian monument, which became quite annoying at some point. But here, everything is a lot closer to each other, and the pyramid itself offers a completely new challenge and overall layout. Besides that, it makes good use of the mechanics seen in this version of the game, like the different characters. Now, it still has that Super Mario 64 feel, and it uses a lot of the ideas from that game, but this time with a fun little twist. Sadly enough, it's not very big, but for what they managed to put into this one, it's certainly a golden nugget. Number 4 Now for our next location, we are still sticking with the N64 nostalgia drug. For some reason, people love to mess around with this game. It's called Starlight Runway, and is set in space. However, just that would be a bit boring. So they build an entire moon base that becomes your playground. Sadly enough, there isn't a low gravity setting in this world, because if this was the case, then it would be even better. It can be explored from the very start and is easy to navigate because of the open design. A lot of the assets and textures seen in this level are completely new and were never seen in the N64 game. So the developers of this ROM hack put a lot of work into this title, which is certainly a plus in my book. However, while the world looks amazing, the things that you can do in the level seem to be a bit limited and too similar to missions seen in the original. So while it's completely new in terms of looks, it isn't really that when it comes to objectives, which is disappointing. Number 3 Alright, from this point onward, things are going to change, because these upcoming worlds will look and be amazing. For example, Colossal Candy Clutter, which uses yet again the Super Mario 64 engine, but not a lot of the assets, looks gorgeous, and is filled to the brim with content. It's a huge area made of pure candy and toys, and the movement options that you have in the world are beyond amazing. You can go almost anywhere and explore to your heart's content, but it's not empty at all. The map is filled with little and big things to do, enemies, and all kinds of platforming challenges. Even when it comes to the different elements seen, it amazes me. There are so many different things to see, that it even puts the original levels to shame. Visually, it's certainly one of the strongest, showing off robots, wooden toy castles, 
candy bars and more. Because of this, a lot of the challenges seen in this world are based around either exploring or platforming. So you certainly get to a lot of the stuff placed in this level, which is nice because there are a lot of custom assets, but it's a bit linear at times. Overall stunning, but more different objectives would make it even better. Number 2 now, Lethal Lava Land is one of the best worlds ever made by Nintendo in my opinion. However, this ROM hack level is even better. It's called Melty Molten Mountains, and just like the N64 course, it's filled to the brim with lava. However, this time a mountain is added to the whole equation, creating a completely different experience. Now you have to deal with heights, and the developers in this ROM even played into this by creating an amazing obstacle. This. Going on top of it is incredibly challenging, especially because of the lava below, which will end you if you fall. However, this isn't all, because there's a twist. Aside from the scorching fire, there's also an ice and snow portion, which offers different challenges, enemies and more, but it's still in the same world, and there's almost nothing separating the two halves. So when it comes to variety, this map has a ton, and especially the stone pillar in the lava section is amazing. Number 1 Now for our last one we are looking at a place that reminds one a lot of the forest, and is also filled to the brim with creatures. It's called Wildlife Valley, and even features certain enemies that were never seen in the original game. For example the fuzzies from Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. They even put in the weird effects seen in the SNES title, which makes it harder to navigate and pull off Mario's moves. They even used this in a level to make it extra difficult. So even some concepts from a completely different game which was built in 2D are now applied in 3D, and it all works like a dream. Besides that the layout of the level is great and a lot of routes, completely different missions and even new assets have been added to the map. There's so much to do in it that it kind of amazes me. There's even one portion that presents you a cool climbing section in a tree. Because of all these things that offer you a completely new experience and a lot of stuff that isn't even seen in the original, I think this is the best one for sure. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more videos then be sure to click that subscribe button and be sure to click the bell, then you won't miss anything. And besides that, you can always watch more videos, you're lovely, I would like that, you would like that, we're all happy, don't you think? Alright, bye now!